Cut scene. Is it pay to lose? What do you think? You tell me. You pay me and I show you the deck list that you will lose with. We went 13 and 0, unofficially 15 wins in a row with the new Pendulum Summoning, Doom King, Armageddon, Declan, Akaba, Reggie. This is the best Pendulum deck we have right now. Let's get right into it. I activate the spell Dark Contract with the Swamp King. Dark Contract with the Swamp King's effect activates. No, no, wrong one. Combine together into a noble hero. Be ready to battle. Go. Oh, geez, it screwed us. We don't have enough time. Ah! He's destroying. I'm going to time out. I'm going to time out. Wow! There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. What makes this the best Pendulum deck at the moment, which by the way, does not mean it's top tier, but it could maybe be top tier. We'll have to see through Duel Links meta events. It is so good because Command of the Doom King, what this allows you to do, which you tell me if I'm in the wrong or not. I read this skill saying, select up to one Pendulum monster from your field slash deck and place it in your Pendulum zone, thinking that means you could only play one Pendulum monster into your Pendulum zone. Apparently I was wrong. If I tell you that you could select up to one piece of cake from this slash that table, and then you pick up two cakes, one from each, it kind of seems like I should slap you and kick you out of my party, right? Well, Konami took two pieces of cake because it's not field slash deck, it's field and or deck, and meaning you could do it from the field and the deck and have two pendulum monsters into your both pendulum zones. I did not know that while testing this out early, but as soon as we figured that out, we went on a massive win streak. And by the way, this is a pay to win deck. I'm so sorry to activate the skill. You have to have an ultra rare card from a box. Hopefully you got it with a little bit of gems. If not, you just can't even use the skill. That kind of sucks. So let's get into the deck. The best way to use the skill is you normal summon Kepler, which you play three of. And you also play three cards that could search for any of your triple D monsters, your double D, triple D. So you pretty much play six Keplers. You normal summon Kepler, then Kepler activates to search for the searcher or the fusion summon or the trap that destroys cards on the field during your opponent's turn. If you, it could be both turns, but you're mostly gonna do it on their turn. Also boost up your monsters by plus 1000. Then you activate the skill. You put the Kepler as a scale 10 into your Pendulum Zone, and then you also play another monster from the deck in your Pendulum Zone, which will mostly be the Apocalypse. Now you have a four scale and a 10 scale, and you searched with Kepler. Now to even activate that skill, you had to put an Armageddon from your hand into the extra deck. Now you could Pendulum Summon your Armageddon. But ideally, you're also pendulum summoning other monsters from your hand, maybe more Armageddon's from the hand, maybe an Apocalypse or two from the hand, but you mostly want to keep this in your hand or in the graveyard. You could summon the Proud Ogre, or you could summon, this card's quite nuts, the King Kaiser. If pendulum summoned, it will currently negate everything on the field on its summon. And then you could also destroy your back row cards, not your pendulum zones, and per back row card you destroy of your own, you get that many additional attacks, so this could really just close out duels. If you already have Kepler and the Armageddon and or the Dark Contract to the Gate, you could use the Kepler to search for a fusion, and with the fusion, 
or with a slime, you could summon a Beowulf. Beowulf will make it so all of your monsters have piercing damage. If you wanna make any monster a little bit bigger, you could set the ogre as a scale to boost up a monster by 500. You could have the Armageddon be set as a scale and not to the skill, by the way, the skill negates them. This could boost up a monster by 800. That's another way to get over big monsters. Also, you could summon the Oblivion King Caesar. If there's two monsters your opponent controls, you attack into one of them, you suck up the other, gaining its attack, and then you will surely be bigger than the monster you're battling into. What is so good about Doom King Armageddon, how it triggers the cutscene and its use of the skill? Well, beyond all of that, while it's on the field, if a monster control is destroyed, you could target it while it's in the graveyard, and then you get to gain attack equal to that monster's original attack until the end of the turn, but you cannot attack directly. And it also cannot be destroyed by spell or trap cards that do not target this card, which is not relevant. That is pretty much just Lightning Vortex. Lightning Vortex would be a card that it's protected from. Also, Needle Sealing would be a card that it is protected from. Otherwise, if the Spell or Trap targets it, it will be destroyed. Now, beyond just spilling your entire hand onto the field through a Pendulum Summon and using the skill to help do so, you will want to make rank six exceeds. You can make M7, you can make the Rhino Bus, which is a seven, but you make it through a rank six exceed. What is a really good turn one play? Well, if you watch my other video, we pretty much do the same thing here. If you have a slime plus an ogre and a Kepler, you have an incredible turn one play. What you could do is you could use the slime and the ogre to fusion summon into a Genghis, then use the slime and the graveyard to special summon a Kepler. That will trigger the Genghis to summon the ogre back on the field and the Kepler will search your deck for the Dark Contract of the Witch. That's a three card combo. And then when you set the Dark Contract of the Witch, you have the fourth card in your hand to be discardable to pop any card in the field during your opponent's turn. And with the Ogre and the Genghis, you make an Exa Beetle into a Rhino Bus. Now you have two quick play removals. Non-targeting removal destroy their monsters or use the Contract of the Witch to destroy anything by discarding your fourth card in your hand. Otherwise, you could just force out a turn one play without a discard effect of just making your Rhino Bus. Search for the Ogre if you need it, make your Genghis, summon the Ogre. Even sometimes maybe you'll search an Ogre and just tribute summon over the Kepler alongside your Genghis. However, you need to make your rank six into a Rhino Bus. That's a good turn one. And the final big question, is this the best way to play Triple D? What about your other deck that didn't really have Pendulum Summoning and played a different skill? They're both different decks. The other deck has a better, more consistent turn one. This deck has a better turn two, but also has a pretty decent turn one, even if you don't rank six succeed. So it's a little bit different on the power levels of turn one and turn two. I do have to say that this deck was a lot more fun to play because the cutscenes, the pendulum summonings, the apocalypse is also summonable from your hand or graveyard by destroying your pendulum zone monsters or your back row. I had a lot of fun playing this deck and I know you will too if you have the cards to do so. Fools. Dark Contract. Get contracting. That does exist. Great. All right, we sliming. Get sliming. But he's a slime. Use the ogre. Summon the Genghis. It's called Clone Hero. Get banishing. Come forth, Kepler. Kepler. He's going to activate to add the good stuff. We're going to add the Dark Contract to the Witch. This is great. This is great. This is great. But the other version of the deck does this a little bit better. We bounce in. Kekpler. The Kekpler play. Let's go. Next turn, we'll do the Armageddon. Uh, Armageddon's a follow-up. It's not a good turn one. It's for turn two. So how do we want to do this? If we Dark Contract the... Whoa! Gaia! 
Negate! Genghis. Photon Strike Bouncer is a warrior. The Witch only boosts up what? The Witch boosts up all fiend type monsters, not even double D only. Any type of monster. Pop that back row, yeah? We should pop it. We should. Dumage step. Pop it. Pop it. We pop, pop, pop in. And we better have a pendulum summon play. I swear. I swear. This is it. Whoa. Let's go. Wait. Oh, our scales are on the side. I thought our, I thought we were uh, our scale blocked us. We're good. Oh shoot! Are we burning? Are we burning big time? Big burn! Command of the Doom King. Go to the extra to play a Kepler into the thing. Ten. Then we're gonna dark contract search for a four. A four. The apocalypse. Yes. And then I'm going to pendulum summon. The Armageddon. I did not even read the pendulum effects. Should there have been a better monster I could have searched for? Probably the one that boosts by 500. What does the apocalypse do? It has an effect, but I'm not reading it yet. We can't interrupt the cutscene. Oh, we. <laughs> yes, this cutscene instills fear. Banish two double Ds from your graveyard. Special summon this card from your pendulum zone. Wait! Wait! The Let's go! We grabbed the correct one! Jeez! That's crazy! I'm an egg! What the? Attack! Doom King Armageddon, bring them their demise. Fool. Fool. This is the end. Chaos King Apocalypse. Yes. Back to Fortnite. What mistakes did I make? Just because you want to win doesn't mean you can. That was pretty cool. We got a fool. We got a fool. Sliming. Pay to win stream. This is pay to lose, mate. We're paying to lose. Calm down. Cut scene. Is it pay to lose? What do you think? You tell me. You pay me and I show you the deck list that you will lose with. Win streak starts now, you know it. Activate. Come in the cometh the ogre. Double D proud ogre. X uh, beetle. I exceed summon a monster. Rhino! It's a great turn one. We don't have the contract of the witch. We didn't have Kepler. That's fine. Dark contract of the Swamp King. You want to get swamping? How about we pop the back row with a Beowulf? Yeah? Okay, Beowulf it is. Yes. This game? What is this game? Over the Nexus? What the heck? King with a free prime, thank you so much. Oh geez, I clicked on the song. King, thank you with a free prime, KDA. Hey Gia, is DK'd Sundeer 
I feel like he's super mean to you on stream, but the stories you've told me him, you've told turn him into the biggest teddy. She did not do anything like that. You be quiet. What we do? What do we do? We just swing. We swinging. Take it. Take it. Take it. Battling Boxer Veil. What the hell? Pierce, then lethal. Don't destroy. Woo! Let's go. You got Sphere Creebo. I know it. I know it. I know it. You know it. You have three turns to beat me. In three turns, the Swamp King will burn me to death. We want to Oblivion King. Oblivion King, he's gonna have to have two monsters, and we could Oblivion King. You came out. Out you came. Came you did. You don't have three light and darks in the grave. What? Duo? Duo is at zero defense? What? How are you at zero D? I can only destroy the biggest monster on the fields. Which is now duo. <laughs> what? What? You give me no choice. Fool. Your dark was literally protecting the duo. Are you kidding me? Beowulf, we're gonna keep on the... the... Destroy it. I'm done burning. No more burn. No more. Let's go. I've had enough of this fool. How big? 1100. What do you got, Veil? Or are you just searching? Nope, it's too late for Veil. Too late for Veil, mates. Eggum. Yes. Has anyone seen this card in the anime? How does it attack? Is it just headbutt bonk itself onto the opposing monster? Does it shoot something? Just because you want to win doesn't mean you can. We're going second. Holy moly, is this a flame on or what? Fusion summon a monster. Perfect for International Artist Day. What the heck? I'm counting on you. New. Summon a monster in attack position. Creates. Is Photoshop gonna blow up my computer? I'm counting on you. I special summon a monster. All right. I synchro summon. Where's my Kek W? <laughs> How the heck would we do this? Oh boy, we'll try it. We'll actually, we'll try it. Maybe after this duel. Alright, focus. We want to make big plays. Big plays. Dark contract to the gates. Mate. Grab a Kepler. His Alexander is going to become 6k. Will it? Not if I negate it with the Kaiser. If I negate it with the Kaiser. So I think we just grab the, the Kepler. Don't we do the Oblivion King? We do the Oblivion King. Let's go. Add a Dark Contract. Grab the Swamp King. Swamp King. Activate. 
So we want one from the deck and from the fields. Fields. And the deck. Apocalypse. Pandalum. Summon. All three. Pendulum summon a monster. The fearsome immortal who. Triple D Doom King Armageddon. Rank seven. What's the restriction on the rhino? The rhino has to be. Two level seven or higher insect monsters, mate. Triple D Chaos King Apocalypse. Let's go. Triple D Let's Chaos freaking go. Six thousand attack. What the? Apocalypse. Apocalypse. I'm forming a force. Ragnarok. The true tyrant. Triple D wave oblivion King Caesar Ragnarok. Can Ragnarok return one of our pendulum zones? Attack! Activate! Triple D wave oblivion King Caesar Ragnarok. I could return one of the pendulum zones. What the holy what moly? Add his back. Equip! <laughs> Continue! Yes! Fool! I lost. To be a pro, you can't make even the tiniest mistake. We have a search, we have a rank six. We could rank six. Could double summon six six and the other dude, and we can also search for a contract to the witch. We're not going to search for the swamp. The witch will be for protection. Watch and learn. I fusion summon a monster. Triple D with the Grave Skill? I don't know what that is. Grave Skill. No Declan? The heck? What the heck is this? Are you kidding me? This would have been the 15 wins? This would have been the 15. Bruh. What a joke. Activate. Come to me, Armageddon. Shokan. Return. Face up and Apocalypse. Pendulum summon one, two, three. All three. Woo! Cutscene. Who commands the obedience of all? Triple D Doom King Armageddon. Ogre. Proud ogre. Ogre. M7 return back? That seems like a keck weight to me. Witness this. I summon a monster. Holy moly. Return. Let's do it. Do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Yay! Unofficial 15 and 0. Let's go. lost this was unexpected but most impressed to be a pro yeah 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 okay all right all right 
All right. 